Hi, Marie here from PotteryCrafters.com. In this video, it's the Giffen Grip versus the Giffen Grip Mini. I'll share the difference between the two to find out which one's best for you. Maybe both. This Giffen Grip Mini was given to me by Zach from Giffen Grip. They don't sponsor me in any way and didn't even ask me to do a review. Giffen Tech is a small family business started by a production potter. The supplies used in this video are listed for you in the show notes below. There are several differences between the Giffen Grip and the Giffen Grip Mini. I'll go over each one for you. Let's get started. The obvious between the Giffen Grip and the Giffen Grip Mini is the size. The Giffen Grip is 15 and a quarter inches across while the Giffen Grip Mini is only 11 inches across. The Giffen Grip is designed to fit any size wheel using brackets to secure it to the wheel head. And the Giffen Grip Mini is designed to fit wheel heads with 10 inch bat holes and 6 inch bat holes. Let's take a look at the difference in the holders or sliders. The Giffen Grip comes with two sets of sliders one basic slider, a slider with a hole for the extension rods, and five sets of extension rods. The two inch rod, three inch, four inch, five inch, and six inch extension rods. I also received these flex sliders from Giffen Grip. They're great for misshapen pottery. They're not included with the Giffen Grip, so you have to buy them separately. Included with the Giffen Grip Mini are four sets of sliders. Tall sliders, bowl sliders, plate sliders, and stick sliders. Now there are no flex sliders for the misshaped pottery yet. That would be great if they came out with them. Let's take a look at the difference in the assembly of each Giffen Grip. Because a Giffen Grip fits on any wheel head, with or without bat holes, there are a few steps involved to assemble it. The first thing you want to do is measure the diameter of your wheel with this ruler on the top of the instructions. The Giffen Grip is pretty easy to put together. You have three brackets that fit on your wheel head, six screws, six nuts, o-ring and o-ring shims, a flathead screwdriver, and recommended is a magnifying glass because the marks are so tiny and you want to make sure that all three brackets are lined up on the same mark. There's a tiny pointer on the side of each bracket. This is where the magnifying glass comes in handy. Place the pointer on the bottom of the plate that matches the measurement of your wheel. Keep the bracket in place. Push the screw through the hole. And place the nut on top of the screw. Then flip it over and screw the screw into the nut. That was easy. Continue to do it with each bracket and make sure the pointer on the bracket is on the same mark. and use this o-ring to hold the top and bottom plates together. Now try it out on the wheel. The plate should snap right in and fit snugly with no play. If it's too tight and it won't fit, then just move each bracket one notch outward and if it's too loose, move each bracket 
one notch inward. Now let's take a look at the assembly for the Giffen Grip Mini. There is none. Let's take them both to the wheel. To insert the sliders, hold the bottom plate and turn the top plate until the sliders fit into the entry gates. The sliders with the holders and the rods you can place in either way. I'm going to use the rods. Place the plates firmly on the wheel. Hold the bottom plate and turn clockwise or to your right. Now all of the sliders are evenly in place. Insert the size of the extension rods you want to use. The extension rods are slanted inward to securely hold the tall forms of clay. Now grab a piece of pottery and trim. Place your piece in the middle. Hold the bottom and turn the top clockwise to move the sliders inward. Give it a little wiggle and tighten again if needed. Now you're ready to trim. The self-centering saves so much time. And it's much faster and easier than using clay logs. If you like what you see, hit the like button anytime during this video. The Giffen Grip is used for counterclockwise direction only, but you can special order for a clockwise direction. As you can see, the plates sit higher and the scraps don't go into the splash pan. So I try and catch them before they hit the ground. The sliders do do a great job holding the pottery. I really do love this Giffen Grip and it works on all three of my pottery wheels and they all have different size wheel heads. Of course, I do have to move the brackets, but it's worth it. I made this mug misshapen just to demonstrate the sliders for you. Center the bottom first. Looks pretty even. Now, just slide the sliders in and push on the green tab. Make sure you hold your pottery in place. Push in and push in. Give it a little wiggle and double check. Perfect. Now you can trim the bottom. This really is a game changer for me because some of my pottery is misshaped. Let's take a look at the Giffen Grip Mini. Locate the fish shaped holes and align them with your back pins. And press down evenly. Make sure the plates are unlocked by pushing this blue button up. Hold the wheel and turn the top plate all the way to the left or counterclockwise. Now select your sliders. I'm going to use the two and a half inch extension sliders. and just place the slider in each slot. It's that easy. 
Now turn the top plate right or clockwise and the sliders move inward, just like the original Giffen grip. Select a piece of pottery, place it in the middle, turn the plate right or clockwise, give it a little wiggle and tighten if you need to. Press the blue button down to lock and you're ready to trim. Thanks to this blue button that locks and holds the sliders in place, the Giffen Grip Mini works both counterclockwise and clockwise. Because the Giffen Grip Mini plates are much thinner and don't use brackets, it's not as high and the scraps go right into the splash pan. I really love this Giffen Grip Mini. I'll definitely be using both the Giffen Grip and the Giffen Grip Mini. Once you're done, push up on the blue button, turn counterclockwise or to the left and I'm ready to trim another piece of pottery. What I really love about the Giffen Grip Mini are these long, thin sliders. That work great for tiny items like shot glasses. Now I don't have to use logs for the little items that I make. I'd like to thank the family at Giffen Tech for this wonderful gift. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. And of course, still use the Giffen Grip. Let's take a look at the cleanup for both of these. Because there are slots for the sliders, clay scraps will get in between the plates, but they're both easy to clean. Flip it over. Take the O-ring off that holds them in place and separate the two plates. Remove the loose clay and wipe with a damp sponge. Place the two plates back together. The O-ring and you're ready to trim again. To clean the Giffen Grip Mini, remove the sliders, unscrew the screw, and the screw comes right off. Separate the two plates, and remove any clay scraps. Then using super soapy water with the sponge, just wipe the inside and the outside. Then let it drip dry on its own without rinsing. The soap acts as a natural lubricant. Once the plates are dry, just put them back together. Tighten the brass screw and then back off a third of a turn for proper tension. And you're ready to trim again. I found that both the Giffen Grip and the Giffen Grip Mini are built very well. They're both durable trim tools. That's why the Giffen Grip Company has a no questions asked lifetime warranty on any broken or defective parts for any reason at any time. They also have a 90 day money back guarantee. I must say I really like the Giffen Grip. It's great for bigger pieces, and it fits on all three of my pottery wheels. But I also think the Giffen Grip Mini is amazing. It's really easy to use and great for mugs, bowls, plates, lids, and tiny pieces like shot glasses. If you don't have bat holes, 
and or make items larger than mugs and make a lot of misshapen pottery, then the Giffen Grip would be better for you. If you only make small items and you have 10 to 6 inch bat holes, then I would definitely go with the Giffen Grip Mini. By showing you the differences in each one, I hope I've helped you in your decision. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime a new video comes out. Now head on over to this how to make stackable bowls video or how to trim a bowl video. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.